Hi friends, welcome back. This is my new GCP cluster because last account free trial was over. So I have uh, just replicated the nodes as my old project. So as you see, CB1, CB2 are two individual clusters at the moment having data index query services. Now I will add this node to the test cluster. So let's see how to do that. Now I'm using Putty. I will walk you through how to set up Putty. The private key generation is same as I have showed in the earlier lectures. This is a username that you used while generating the Putty private key. Here you need to enter the IP address after at the rate. This is my session name. I have given the private key in SSH. I need to browse where this private key exists. So the process is same. This private key is generated using a Putty gen. I have already showed that in the previous lectures how to generate public key and private key using Putty gen. And I have added my public key to the GCP metadata as well. Selected private key. I'm copying second node IP address. Simply replacing it. Accept. Clicking to sudo. This is the command to add a node using Couchbase CLI command. Server add and the cluster name adding to the test cluster. So this is the internal IP 0.2, external IP 21.220. 0.2 is for test cluster. I have given that username administrator. Password is Couchbase. For my cluster, I have set the password as Couchbase. Server add and the IP address of the node that you are going to add. Its internal IP is 0.3. Given that server add username, server add password and the services you want to assign to that node. Copying that, you can execute this command from any one of the nodes you can connect to 0 0.2 and execute it you can connect to 0 0.3 execute it right now I am on 0 0.3 I am executing this command server added if you go to the browser and see on test cluster you see node is added at the moment this node will not serve any traffic until the rebalance is completed this node is part of the test cluster right now let's quickly do the rebalance you can see rebalance complete let's go to the browser and verify it you can see the balance is complete. Whatever memory settings are there in the test cluster, those will be reflected on the newly added node as well. If your new node is not having the memory specifications mentioned in the settings, it will not be added. It will throw an error. So you have to make sure the new node is having the memory requirements mentioned in the settings. For the demonstration of adding a node with REST API, I am removing node 3 from the cluster and I will add it back with REST API. I'm doing rebalance. Rebalance is completed now. Now test cluster is again running with one node. This is a command to add a node with REST API. So you have to provide credentials. Administrator is my admin username. Couchbase is my password. Post is the method I am using here. I am adding to the test cluster. So I am using the internal IP of test cluster. Add node hyphen D and the host name that I am going to add which is nothing but the IP ending with 0 0.3 and the username, password and the list of services that I want to allocate on this node. KV means data service, index, nickel means query service. Copying this command, executing it. Again, we can execute this command from any one of the nodes. I am executing from the IP ending with 0 0.3. Upload completely sent off. Let's go to the browser and see. I can see 0 0.3 in test cluster. Again reiterating the same thing. This node will not be serving any traffic until rebalance is complete. So let's do the rebalance. This is a command to perform the rebalance. Let's validate from the browser. I can see rebalance completed. This is a command to list the nodes with CLI command. You can see the list of nodes on the cluster healthy and active and you can also use the rest api for the same you can use any of these two commands few machines don't have jq installed in that case we can use this command with python so you can see the output here you can remove a node from the cluster from ui remove and rebalance until you click rebalance this node will be serving the traffic in the cluster since i have already done it i'm not removing from ui let's remove it using cli rest api commands this is a command to remove a node with rebalance rebalance complete now the cluster is running with only one node let me add it back just to demonstrate removal of a node using rest api let me add it back this time i'm adding it from ui doing rebalance rebalance completed now let me remove the node using rest api this is a command in the ejected nodes i'm giving the ip address let's validate from the ui rebalance started rebalance completed and you can see the cluster is running with only one node again let me add it back again just to demonstrate other tasks as well 
rebalance rebalance completed successfully